The state's highest court, the Supreme Court, is back in session hearing a number of controversial cases. Anchor Lori Tucker and our legal analyst Greg Isaacs diving into the issues and why they matter beyond the courtroom in tonight's Ask Isaacs. Greg, thank you for being here. It's good to be here, Lori. A lot to talk about when it comes to the U.S. Supreme Court. It's back in session. There are some headline-grabbing cases. First of all, the issue of abortion. And many people are asking, is the Supreme Court making its way toward overturning Roe v. Wade? I think we're going to see a march to the right. Some very exciting cases uh, that are flashpoints in, in American society have been taken by the court and will be heard. Five to 7,000 cases are filed annually. Mm -hmm. Only 150 are chosen. Only half of those get oral arguments. One of the big ones everybody's watching is will Roe versus Wade be overturned? Mm -hmm. A Louisiana case, June versus Gee, uh, is challenging a regulatory scheme mm -hmm. where doctors had to meet requirements and be uh, affiliated with a hospital to perform abortions. Mm -hmm. Only one doctor in Louisiana met those criteria. They're saying it's a pretextual move uh, to regulate abortions. Uh, Tennessee statutes also uh, could be impacted. We have the 20 week requirement, right. uh, 48 hours uh, of twice mandatory counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, so Roe versus Wade is gonna be under attack. Remember, the Supreme Court uh, is typically 5-4, mm -hmm. based on the new appointees, Correct. conservative. So it'll be interesting to see how that yeah. plays out throughout the country. Uh, another case uh, covering job discrimination rules and whether they apply to LGBTQ Americans. Another big one under yeah. Title VII. Uh, it is forbidden to uh, discriminate against someone because of their sex. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't sexually harass somebody. Now. Are the justices going to extend that protection to people because of their gender identity, mm -hmm. LGBTQ, or if you are gay? Uh, so a very important question that could dramatically uh, change things in the workplace. It, if you're terminated or have an adverse employment action because of your uh, transgender, uh, it may be against the law once the Supreme Court rules. And there's another one you're looking at as well. A fascinating case mm -hmm. out of Kansas that can change uh, American criminal jurisprudence significantly. In Kansas, they passed a statute repealing the insanity defense. I mean, Lori, think wow. back of all the people that have been found crazy mm -hmm. all, all the years, the experts and whatever, and their rationale is, you know, if you don't have the mens rea or the intent to commit a crime, uh, then you shouldn't be convicted. We don't have to call it insanity. So the Supreme Court is going to hear that. A very dramatic case that people are watching closely. Yes, Greg, thank you. It's good to be here. All right, thank you guys. And hey, if you have a question for Greg, just send an email to askisaacswat.com. Be sure to tune into WAT6 On Your Side News at 530 every Wednesday to see if he answers any of your legal questions.